Hello, guys. This is Renee from China High Top Poultry Equipment, which is a factory of providing poultry farming equipment over 20 years. Helped 5,000 uh, poultry farm products in 30 different uh, countries. Now I'm in a China modern farm. Uh, it is a big farm, uh, raised over 600,000 uh, chickens, and plan to build 16 buildings. The whole plan is made by high top designers. And uh, on my back, it is a feed production room used to produce chicken feed. And uh, next to it, it is a disinfection room used to people disinfection before entering the chicken coops. And uh, across from it, it is a staff living area. And uh, on my right hand, it is an egg warehouse used to egg storage and egg processing. And on the opposite side, it is a staff working area and uh, the whole plan is made according to the customer's uh, land budget and uh, requirements. If you plan to build, build a modern farm, you can send us your plan, your land, and uh, our designers will help to make the design for you. And so today we will have a live video and the purpose of this live video is help to you to uh, understand uh, how to start chicken farming. And uh, now let's go to the farm and see what's going on. Hello guys, now I'm in the middle of the chicken farms. You can see there are six chicken houses already put into use. And it seems that you can hear the voice of chicken crowing. And uh, this way, you can see there are three chicken houses are under construction. This total, this farm is total build 16 chicken farms and uh, the customer will start one by one. First, we will uh, provide the solution according to chickens of class chicken quantity and uh, quarter price. After confirmation, then we will start one by one. This way, not only can help to uh, reduce the client's financial risk, uh, pre pressure also can help to customers make a profit first. And if strangers into the chicken house need to do uh, this infection, uh, today we won't into the chicken chicken coops because uh, the system in the all the buildings are exactly the same because we have one house just finished installation. And then we will go to that house and see the equipment. Before in starting the introduction, please think about what concerns do you have. We have sold uh, uh, many big farms, so there are some customers' concerns below for you reference. Uh, first, um, what's the specific cost? First, uh, what, what is the specific cost? Second, how long will it take to pay back? Uh, third, how to choose the equipment? Fourth, uh, how to save face and water? Five, uh, 
how to increase the egg production rate. Uh, six, uh, how to create a raising environment for chickens. Uh, let's solve them one by one. Uh, first question: What is the specific cost? Usually, the specific cost according to the customer's chicken quantity. Different quantity have different cost. Like、uh, this horse, it is a horse raise about forty、uh, thousand chickens. So its equipment cost is about one hundred sixty thousand U.S. dollar, including the、uh, cage system. Automatic feeding and silo system, and automatic drinking system, and the automatic manure removing, and the automatic egg collection system, and the lighting, and the additional cooling, and the environment control system. But if you rent a small quantity, like a, a Ten thousand. Its equipment cost is about ten thousand thousand USD dollar.、Uh, so, if you want to know the specific cost, you can send us an、uh, inquiry and tell us your chicken quantity. Then、uh, we will make a solution and quote for you. Our website is high top poultry. And the set the third question the the second question. Um, how long will it take to pay back?、Uh, we have、uh, poultry farms in thirty different countries,、uh, including the big farm and the small farms. Usually, for the small farms, it can、uh, get the capital in the same year. But for a large farm, usually it need、uh, one or two years to、uh, take back.、Uh, so. Uh, maybe you、uh, you can tell us your budget, then we can make a solution according to your budget to meet your needs.、Uh, the third question: How to choose equipment? If you do a research, you will, you will find that there are many suppliers in the China market, and their price is different. But they all tell you that their equipment is the best. So maybe you will have a doubt. Why? Why their price is so di- different?、Uh, because it is the automatic uh, uh, layer equipment, and it has a lot of accessories.、Uh, the quality of the accessories provided by different suppliers are different. That's why their price is different too.、Uh, in order to compete at low price, maybe some suppliers will provide you a low quality. Accessories privately,、uh, but our company, high top company, we believe、uh, quality first always. So we we always provide the high quality accessories for our clients, for our customers. All of our high top equipment have one year warranty, and the cages have a lifespan of twenty years. Uh, let's show you the、uh, details of our cages. But high top、uh, country always believe quality first; otherwise, we wouldn't survive the, on the market over twenty years and、uh, have over five thousand plus projects in the thirty、uh, different countries.、Uh, let's show show you the details next. All of high top、uh, equipment have one year warranty, and the cages lifespan is over twenty、uh, years.、Uh, let me show you the details of the cages. You can see the wear the wear is very thick. The top wear it is one point nine millimeter thickness. And the door, you can see it is very thick. Its thickness is five millimeters. And the bottom and the back, the bottom 
and the back wear thickness is 2.2 millimeters. So it is very strong, can support over 2 kilogram of chickens. And you can see it is four tires, chicken, chicken cage. One set, one wall set raised 128 chickens. So this is one nest. One nest can raise eight chickens. The length, the length is 60 centimeters. Widest is 62.5 centimeters. Height is 48 centimeters. The area of poor chicken is 469 square centimeters, which exceeds the international standard 450 square centimeters. And the space is large, and the ventilation is good. So the chickens feel more comfortable. Uh, some suppliers, the uh, nest size is very small. Uh, the single chicken occupies only about 400 square centimeters, which is easy to cause some chickens uh, ha have no face to eat and not lay eggs. It also is the reason why some suppliers price is cheaper. And you can see it is a hard deep galvanized surface treatment. The chlorine resistance is three to four times that of ordinary galvanized well mesh. And that is why the sub life is over 20 years. And you can see the, 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 the wear mass is very thick. Uh, the top wear has a big distance above the uh, manure belt. So the chickens can't pack the manure, which can protect the chickens' health. And you can see the door. It is a sliding door type. You can see the door size is very big. And so uh, its operation is very convenient. And it is easy to enter and cooling chickens. And there is a small clip here to clog the door and prevent the chickens from escaping. It is very strong. Also, please see the bottom where it has a 8 degree slope. So the eggs can roll to the egg belt gently and easily. Also, the bottom where has a high elasticity, which can protect the eggs roll softly. If the cage wear is too hard, uh, the eggs will be a uh, break easily. Also, this is the cage frame. Cage frame. It is two millimeter thick, uh, strong chlorine resistance. One piece design, no welding point. It is a stable structure. Also, there is, uh, there is a board used to uh, protect the eggs inside of the cage. There is a board to uh, prevent the chickens from packing eggs. Maybe you can see it uh, here clear. You can see um, another side. You can see the board from another side clearly. Also, uh, it can prevent chicken manure from 
uh, falling into the lower trough. So the border is very important. And this is the feed trough. It is a hard deep galvanized tool. And uh, compared with PVC trough, the support stress is high. Also, you can climb to uh, observe the chickens on the up tires. The feed trough is a V-shaped trough. It can save in materials. You can see from the front, it is very clear. You can see it is a V-shaped trough. So the chickens can get feed from the bottom. It can save material and re reduce feed accumulation, preventing mildew. And you can see the out edge is higher than the inside edge. It also to avoid feed waste. Come here. You can see the feed trough is very straight and beautiful uh, because we use the automatic bending equipment. The curvature of each trough is the same, so there is no manual error. The first question, how to save Face and water. Besides saving feed and water, you may have other concerns like to, uh, how to keep the clearness of the face and water and uh, how to make sure the chickens get enough feed and water and uh, how to know the water and face con consumptions. Uh, let's solve the face question first. Uh, about the face issue, then you need to, uh, on the basis basis of the automatic uh, feeding equipment. Uh, when you want to feed the chickens, you just need to press the forward uh, button in the control box. Then the face will come transferred from the outside silo into the automatic feeding cart with the inclined and the uh, lateral elevators. Then this feed, feed cart will ring to the last position. The face will, the face will be dropped, dropped evenly, so, so, the chickens can, so the chickens can eat the feed. At this time, it is very beneficial to have a large space. Every chicken can, can have a place to eat, but in a small nest, only some chickens can eat the food. The remaining chickens have no place to eat, and in the long run, the egg production rate will be reduced. When the feed truck cart rings to the last position, it will stop automatically. At this time, when we press the back button, the feed cart will automatically return and carry out a secondary feeding which will also ensure that each chicken can eat well. There are two special devices on our feeding cart. One is the uniform feeding device. As the name implies, it can uniform feed, and it can set the amount of feed according to the age of chicken feed uniformly, and eat evenly, a wide waste, reduce the rate of the chicken cooling. At the end of the cage, there is a feed return device. The every suction type and cleaning design can remove the excess feed at the end of the cage and bring the feed back to the feed trough. 
uh, reducing waste. And you can see uh, this process is closed, and even the hopper is closed to prevent dust from entering and ensure the clearness of the feed. Also, you, uh, you can check the feed amount from the observation hole. And if you want to know the consumption of feed, you can check it from the automatic weighing system on the silo. Uh, let's go outside to see the storage silo and automatic weighing system. Now what you see is the storage silo. And do you see the green box? Uh, it is an automatic weighing system used to weighing the face consumption per day. If you want to know the face consumption, you can check it from the green box. And when you want to face chickens, uh, the face will be automatically transferred from the incline and the lateral elevators, then drop to the automatic feeding cart. After solving the face problem, let's uh, solve the water problem. We will end the filter and the dosing device in the front. It is used to fill out the small particles and um, ensure the clearness of the waters. Then the water will flood with the water pipes. So each row, camera row follow. Camera row follow me. This is the square type of uh, water pipes, you can see. Uh, it is very thick. The thicket material can avoid the, uh, has a good light pro broken, has a good, good light broken and avoid the algal growth. So it can make sure the uh, clean of the water. And you can see the nibble drinker we used is different as the menu cage, uh, it is the highest quality uh, nibble drinkers, and it can um, 360 uh, degree output. So the uh, boss nest, the chickens can get waters. It can make sure the chickens get enough waters. And you can see uh, below the water line, there is a V-shape water think it is used to uh, avoid the water waste and also can avoid the water uh, dropping to the manure belt and the chickens. In order to make sure all the chickens get enough the waters, there is a lamb on the last position. Uh, so if the last uh, set of cages have no waters, it will alarm and rain, and it will automatically supply waters, which can make sure all the chickens get enough waters. And if you want to the water consumption per day, per hour, uh, you can check the date on the uh, control box. There is a control box. You can check the daily data. 
Okay. <laughs> this is the alarm. So, if there is no water in the last set of cages, the alarm will ring and automatically water supply. It can make sure all the chickens have enough water. The fifth question, how to increase the egg production rate? I believe this is the most concerned question by most customers. And uh, actually, uh, the egg production rate uh, uh, have a lot of uh, aspects like the chicken breed, uh, the phase type, and the chicken house type, and the uh, lighting, the raising environment, and the uh, equipment. Uh, because it is uh, the time is limited today, so we mainly introduce the lighting and the equipment today. If you want to know other aspects, aspects, you can uh, send us an inquiry. Don't forget, our website is the high top poultry equipment. About the lighting, uh, most uh, customers choose the uh, specific uh, LED poultry farm lighting because the science proved that uh, the uh, special LED uh, lighting can improve the egg production rate. How, how it do this? Uh, you can see uh, the light position is different. It is one, one row in low position and another row in higher position. Because uh, the, the chicken, chicken case has four tires, so these two different positions can make sure all the chickens get enough and uh, necessary lightings. And uh, the light has two colors. It is the uh, warm color, like this now, and uh, another color is red colors. It is special LED lighting can uh, simulate the natural uh, sunsets and the sunlight, so the chickens can adopt the lighting well. And uh, it is no strawberry flash lighting, so it uh, makes the chickens more calmer and uh, there is no the stress caused by the uh, mutation. And uh, when the light turns to the right color, it can activate the uh, chickens to uh, take more face, so it can uh, improve the egg production rate. About the automatic uh, egg cladding equipment, in fact, it is can't improve the uh, egg production rate, but uh, it can reduce the egg breaking rate. So in another way, it, it is to improve the egg uh, production rate. Uh, about the how to reduce the egg breaking rate, it depends on uh, two devices. So when you want to collect the eggs, you just need to press the button. Then, follow me. Then the eggs, the eggs will drop to the egg belt. This is a, a false egg, egg. The eggs will drop to the egg belt. This is a 
nylon material egg belt, so it can, it can absorb the vibrations of the eggs, so no egg breakage. The eggs come from different tires. And you can see there is a device. It can guide the direction of the eggs. You can see this, uh, this is in the guide the X to the right right position. And uh, in the below, you can see it is in the left position. And uh, do you notice the right roller? It is a soft egg filter. So if it is a soft X, it will drop to the below. It's so all in the healthy X can go to the egg click. So the workers can collect eggs in here. And you can notice that the uh, size of the egg click is small. So only one egg can put here, no egg accumulation. It also will reduce the egg breakage. Uh, the eggs will go from the back to the floor, and the workers can collect eggs from the table. And you can also see the uh, egg clip. It, it has a small uh, volume, so only one egg can put here, not egg accumulation. These two devices can make sure the egg breaking uh, rate is less than 2 in 1,000. Also, after the 16 buildings have been finished, we will enter the uh, central egg placing land about here. So the workers no need to enter the chicken coop to slacking the eggs. They, not, they just need to add in the egg warehouse to collect eggs. The eggs will uh, transfer the, will the uh, central egg collection land to the egg house. And the fifth the sixth question, uh, how to create a raising environment for the chickens? Uh, only if you raise chickens, there will be chicken manure. So uh, the, the chicken manure can have a smell. So uh, the smell is not uh, good uh, to the healthy of the chickens. So it is important to clean the manure out. Uh, the chicken, uh, the chicken manure will, will drop to the egg belt. So after you uh, press the automatic uh, manure clearing system, 
button, the at the belt will ring. And you can notice that there are two rollers below the manure manure belt. So it makes the egg uh, belt. It makes the manure belt anti vitation. You can notice the, the details of the roller. It is not a flat roller. It is low in the middle and higher on the both side. So the belt always in the same direction. It weight went to other side. So let's uh, talk to the end to see how the chicken manure is cleaned out. Okay, this is the uh, back of the chicken house. Uh, in order to make sure that chicken manure is cleaned out uh, cleanly, we entered uh, uh, three scrappers to clean the chicken manure. And uh, the first scrapper is the scrapper on the end. Most of the suppliers only have one sc scrap, that's the, the back scrapper. But uh, we have uh, three scrappers. You can see this. This is the second scrapper, and this is the third scrapper. So the three scrappers can make sure the uh, egg belt is cleaned out uh, clean. And let's see the first scrapper. You can see each tires have uh, one scrapper. The Chicken manure can drop to the Parisian The manure will drop to the Parisian belt. And after you press the button, the belt will raise. So the manure can transport will the Parisian belt to the outside. This is the horizon belt and the transfer to the inclined belt. And uh, there is a cleaner truck and the belt like this. There is uh, uh, no manpower. It is automatic uh, clean the chicken manure. The manure will drop to the truck automatically.
air to the chicken house, and it cooperates with the exhaust fans to realize the uh, ventilation. The inlight window brings the fresh air and the exhaust fans can take the harmful gas outside. And when the uh, window is closed, the exhaust fan will cooperate with the cooling pad and uh, uh, deflect de 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 together to realize the cooling uh, function. Let's work with the uh, friends to see how they work together. 你自己往前，你自己往前拍一拍，然后定住，把这两边都照一照就行，从左照到右就行。This is the cooling pad. It is made of the papers, and uh, uh, you can see there is a wire mesh in the outside. It is a wide the uh, mouse entering the chicken chicken coops because the mouse uh, it can bring the disease to the chickens. So the uh, wire mesh is very important. This is the cooling pad, and uh, at the position I stand is a water tank, and on the opposite, opposite side, the whiteboard, it is the deflector. It can change the uh, direction of the wind. After the uh, window is closed, the hardware will go through the cooling pad. And after uh, the water cycle is rain, the cooling pipe will take away the uh, waters in the cooling pipes, and the waters then the wind will through the deflector to the uh, chicken house. With the deflector, uh, the wind will go to high, then to a lower position. So the wind will become mild to the chickens and uh, no stress for them. After the wind, the, the hot wind through the after the hot wind through the cooling pad and the deflector inter, entering the chicken coops, it will be uh, become the mild wind. So they work together can realize the cooling function. Maybe you have a question. I don't know for when to open the exhaust fan, when to open the windows and the cooling pipes. Uh, don't worry, there is an uh, automatic uh, uh, environment control to help you to control the, all the device and create a perfect reading environment for the chickens. And this controller to control the exhaust fan, impact, deflector, and the air light. The controller does like the human's brain. It controls the face and the hands. And this is the uh, control controller of the lighting system. And it is the controller of the drinking system about the environment, about the automatic fading and automatic manure removing and automatic egg collection function. You also can operate with the buttons. So it's 
so the workers no need to enter in the chicken house and can realize all the automatic functions. Okay, so uh, today's leave, leave, so the today's leave still is finished. Uh, let's summarize the purpose of the today's leave still. Uh, it will, it need to have, it used to have you uh, learn how to start chicken farming. So if you have a plan to raise chickens and you don't know how to do, you can send us an inquiry or professional sales to will to make a solution for you. And don't forget our website. It is High Top Poultry Equipment. And this is Renee from China High Top Poultry. Uh, see you last time. Bye bye.